It's Sunny and Finn's Games and Graps podcast. This week we discuss the games of May and give our thoughts on WWE Payback. What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 60 of the Games and Graps podcast. I'm Sunny and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Very yeah. good, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much, yeah. yeah. I'm a little bit tired, man. My, my life is yeah. hectic. Oh dear, I was surprised. Uh, craziness. Got a lot going I've on. I've never been so busy in my life. <laughs> yeah, what have you been up to? Just, just, you know what, I don't even know. Just, <laughs> just, just, just life in life general. Life has been the busiest. Yeah. Um, well, I had a busy weekend. Uh, we went to see WCPW mm, very, very in good. Coventry, which was a brilliant night out. Very, very really, good, Really, really yes. enjoyed that. Uh, Mon- Monday, I uh, solo cinema clubbed it up. Oh yeah. I went to see <laughs> two films. I went to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Nice. Which was superb. I Best think. Marvel movie by some distance, I think. Cool. Uh, it was just really, really good fun. Great soundtrack. Uh, and it's better than the first one, even though the first one's really great. Cool. And I went to see Fast and Furious 8, which <laughs> was ridiculous. Faster and the Furious. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. Faster, like, <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I like all of them. But It's got rock in it. It it's was <laughs> insanely unrealistic. <laughs> and it was just... I don't know. It was, it was fine. It was just a ridiculous film. Crazy crazy movies, yeah. It was yeah. a bit of fun to watch, I think. Today it's my friend's birthday, so from, straight from here, I'm going out for a meal. Nice. Or going out for some food, at least. I'm going to call it a meal. <laughs> and it's, I don't know, man. It's like with com- combined with work and uh, making sure Daydream is running smoothly and all that sort of stuff, it's... My life is busy. Good. I didn't realise it before, but yeah. now my life is busy. Cool. Sometimes that's a good thing, though. It keeps your mind occupied. Yeah, you're just so. sitting here in the pants watching crap on YouTube, which is what I do. <laughs> now you know what Finn Steele does uh, on a daily basis. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you can sometimes. picture him in any underpants you wish. Yeah, boxes. Sometimes, sometimes, not boxes. Wait, what? Sometimes just nothing. Sometimes just naked. Just naked. Just naked. But you've got a leather sofa. I do. So you have to peel your arse and, <laughs> arse and nuts. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's, it's off a, your leather sofa. Wait, I'm sitting on the leather sofa yeah, where your nuts right sit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Lucky I'm joking. No, he's not. He's not joking. He says he is now. He's not. I told him joking. I didn't <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wondered what that, that little tiny acorn shape was on. The, uh... <laughs> uh, secrets out. Good times. <laughs> Finn. Hello. Uh, what have you been playing what have you been this playing? week since I last, not last since I last saw you because that was like two days ago, but True. since we last recorded our podcast. Yeah, uh, quite a bit actually. Okay. Uh, finished platinuming uh, Final Edge 15. Uh, beat the giant turtle monster. Oh, and toys. yeah. So we had this conversation last week, didn't we? We did. Um, I did try and use the cheating ring thing. It didn't work. It must have patched it out. So uh, I had to beat it legit, which actually didn't take that long. It took just under an hour. And I think that's still a long time. Was it frustrating yeah. or what? Not really. It just no. basically involves stabbing it in the toe for like an hour. Okay. <laughs> Until it falls down. Occasionally, occasionally all it gets done, then you can go like stab it in the eye. But uh, yeah, just a test of patience, really, more than anything else. Okay. It's a bit of fun. Definitely like a massive, massive beast it's cool it's a cool saw, uh, spectacle to see I saw your picture in the uh, Daydreamer Gaming community on PS4 that yes. you can join public <laughs> um, it looked really really cool yeah it's very cool cool fight cool and so you platinum that I did. So that's a good platinum let's, let's have a round it of is. applause for that platinum thank you thank you thank you okay. uh, speaking of platinums I also platinumed uh, the order 1886 alright it's very short and very easy and it was fine okay. it, it was a game now, <laughs> see, I like the Order eighteen eighty six, but I liked it because it's short and the yeah. story's fun and the graphics are amazing. Yeah, the graphics are incredible. The story is pretty good as well. Um, just from a gameplay perspective, it's very basic. It's I'd but, say it's fairly shallow. Yeah, it's a standard third person shooter uh, mixed with like quick time events, kind of like heavy rain kind of thing. Yeah, um, and the, you know, it's fine. It is what it is. What it is. Um, it's like a a scaled down Gears of War. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Cool story, cool graphics. Um, worth playing through in the weekend if you get a chance, if you get it cheap. Yeah, you can get it really cheap, and um, it is an easy platinum trophy. Yep. So, um, it's I'd say it's definitely worth playing. I'm a. I don't think the criticism that it got is fair. Uh, if you no, just want a short, enjoyable experience, and you like third-person shooters, cover-based, then this is absolutely for you. Yeah. Um, that's another platinum trophy. So Ching. that's another round of applause. Yay! Woo-hoo. Awesome. It's made out of thing. That's a, I like that's your t-shirt today, by the way. Thank you. It's from Persona 3. 
Yes. Good. We should absolutely <laughs> make the round of applause a, uh, for Platinum Trophies a thing. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> did we round um, of applause ourselves for our Parappa the Rapper Platinums? I don't think we did. Let's do that now. Yay! Just things everywhere. Wait. <laughs> Rip, pop filter. Uh, and I got the Platinum for Her Majesty's Spiffing, so... Right, good. Almost good. lapped out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the clap. <laughs> we do. Um, also played a bit more Persona 5. Uh as predictable, I suppose, because sure. it's wonderful. And Are you still it. enjoying it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, have you, have you played it? Recently? No, I haven't. I haven't had a chance mm. to play much of anything. I'll talk about that in a sec. Okay. Uh, oh, I also played the uh, prey demo, like the first hour, beginning hour demo. Okay. What did you think to it? I have tried it. Um, um, the aiming felt to a bit off to me. Um, I did do Google search. Apparently, they've addressed it, and it's going to be patched day one. Um, so that's fine. Um, it's basically system shock. It's basically Bioshock. Well, Bioshock in space, which is just system shock. Um, it's cool. I like it. Yeah, uh, I, I like played it. I don't think I'm going to buy day one, but definitely want to keep an eye on in like sales and whatnot. For sure. Yeah. I mean, Bethesda have a, a rich history of prov- giving us great first-person oh, yeah. shooters. So. Was excellent. Obviously, mm-hmm. we've got uh, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein The New Order, and yeah. The Old Blood, which are both great. Yep, yep. Uh, Doom, more recently, which is excellent as well, and it's very great. difficult. <laughs> um, but I, I did play this as well. I played the opening hour demo. Not all of it, because when I was playing it, I was actually streaming it. Oh, yeah. And then I went to go through a door and it hadn't installed. Oh, God. And worst. it pissed me off, so I was like, yeah. I'm not playing this anymore. Um, not because it's bad, just because I was annoyed. Yeah. Um, but Fast I liked it. Uh, I thought, like you, I thought the there was a, a, a slight delay in input. Mm. So when I was sort of swinging the wrench at those the black monster thingies, it was not doing it when I wanted it to do it. Yeah, so. it was definitely obvious. It's like half a second delay and like turning. Surprised they're not patching the demo because they're really big in this demo mm. up and if this is what they are using to sell the game, I'm surprised they're not patching the demos. Yes. Demos can be patched these days. Look at Resident Evil 7. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's the hell. <laughs> I mean, they did a great job with that as well. Yeah, so yeah. I'm surprised yeah. they're not going to patch the demo. I mean, the game comes out. Cool. Actually, the game comes out, uh, what day are we on today? Comes out, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, comes out on the 9th, I think, so that's next Friday? Uh, yes, 5th for America, so I guess 9th works, yeah. Yeah, okay, so. Um, wait, comes out when in America? The 5th? What? Friday. Which is? So does it not come out this wait. Friday for us as well? Oh, I guess that's a weird day. Uh, yeah, I guess it does then. Shrug. Worldwide on the 5th? Yeah, there you go. Fair enough. But, yeah, it seems cool anyway. I like the idea of it. Um, shit kicks off real quick. It does, yeah. Everything seems relatively normal, and then everything, everyone dies, and everything sucks. Yeah, like you go see <laughs> your brother or family member in the plant, and you think something is definitely going to happen here. Yeah, you fail a bunch of tests, and then literally everything just <laughs> shit just kicks off. Yeah, I like the idea of mimics. It's like they can be hiding in anything. Yeah, yeah, very cool. But it's very, very cool. Yeah, I like uh, it. Anything else? Um, I think that's about it. What I've played. Okay. How are you? Been playing anything? Well, because of my hectic life, no. <laughs> yeah. Fair um, I've played a. I sort of. Um, done a couple of bits I, I've been playing some PS3 stuff still um, nice. because we watched the boxing on Saturday night mm. Saturday daytime I actually God, boxing is so fake God yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't watch boxing it's just fake and predetermined <laughs> um, I'm joking it was We're a, joking, of course. A really great fight at the weekend actually cool um, so I fired up Fight Night Champion on PS3 which oh, still really does stand the test of time which yeah. is a really good game cool um, in my opinion EA could bring another one out now oh yeah for sure there's a couple of um, UFC games which are okay but not great yeah but the Fight Night games have always been great they have yeah like, there's not been a bad one I think MMA is a difficult sport to get right I think mm. THQ did get it right when THQ. they did um, the, when they had the UFC license mm. um, I don't think EA have quite got there yet yeah I don't know that was because I had like UFC and MMA games didn't they Just like... yeah because um, it was funny actually because I remember when because EA Sports may because THQ had the license for UFC, mm. and there was an MMA EA Sports MMA. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, the president of UFC, Dana White, said anybody who appears on the <laughs> EA Sports MMA game is not going to be involved with UFC anymore. <laughs> Fast nice. forward a couple of years, all of a sudden EA Sports have got the UFC license and everything's fine again. So yes. Um, but I don't think. <laughs> like going to be I mean, I liked EA Sports MMA. I thought it was okay. Um, and the the other two UFC games are are fine, but they're not perfect. But the Fight Night games always felt and looked like boxing. Yeah, it's cool. I've been playing the uh, the first one, three sixty, mostly because it was an easy thousand point uh, game, but also also because it's a good game as well. Yes, and uh, yeah, it's great. I loved it. Yeah, so I'm hoping for a new one. Boxing is sort of getting quite big again. Yeah, 
I mean, this fight, the fight from Saturday, Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko was watched all over the world. Like Miklos Kozlov? It's not the same guy? Uh, it's, it is the same guy. Oh, it is. Okay, They've obviously, he can't use his real name because WWE owns it. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Good old Kozlov. Yeah. That's his team busy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. He, he was the world heavyweight champion. He, he, he no longer is. Oh, okay. So, EA Sports, make a boxing game for us, please. We all want it. Well, yes. I want it. And Denzel wants it. So. Denzel wants it and I'll, I'll play it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I tried um, yesterday. I found uh, had a bit of spare time, and I tried Little Nightmares. Oh uh, yes, uh, which is uh, it's like a, a a platform game, a two a two point five D platform game, Platformer? basically. Cool. Yeah, uh, so it's like Inside, uh, which I loved. If you listen to this podcast, you will know that Finn not so keen. Um, so it's like it's like Inside, basically, same sort of thing, same kind of mechanics. No story, or at least no sort of narrative that's explained to you. Um, you're just a girl in a yellow rain mac running through a very scary looking world. Cool. And I like what I've played so far. Um, the mechanics are, are really great. They've 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 nailed it. I think it's very very cool. I'm looking forward to playing it more. And I don't anticipate it being very long. It was like it's a cheap game. Yeah, it's like fifteen pounds. Uh, but I would suggest. I, I think the art style is really really beautiful. Cool. Uh, even though it's dank and dark and moody it's a really really great looking game yeah, yeah. so um, I recommend it go play it cool I'll check it out do check yeah. it out it, 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 I mean I know we'll you didn't like chance. Inside but yeah. um, there's a bit I think there is a bit more to this mechanics wise than cool. there is for Inside that's good but it's worth looking at for sure but that's Excellent. pretty much it I've, I've just been um, dibbing in and out of stuff I did the Saturday morning show uh, I did WWE 2K17 I did the, my payback predictions uh, yes. that we would usually do together but because of WCPW on the Sunday night we didn't have a chance so yeah. um, I did that and it was very successful so thank you to anybody who came along subscribed during and commented during as well he made it a very very fun second hour of the Saturday morning show so thank you very much yes but yeah, that's about it I'm going to try and make a bit more time for myself to game but because I've been so busy I've been tired as well so when I get back I just want to crash and uh, chill out and watch films and stuff. So I will yeah. go back into to gaming. I'll figure out my routine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And get back fair. amongst it. Cool. Finn. Good stuff. Hello. Let's talk gaming news. Okay. What have you got for me? Um, well, before we start news, so we do the, since it's the first uh, podcast of the month, should we do the first, the uh, list of games coming out this month? I don't think you've got the jingle right there. I, I haven't. I can't believe it is. <laughs> you just made the list. You just made the list. Of okay. games <laughs> being released this month. Yeah. The list of games. And this year's going quick. Plug them in, man. It is, isn't it? Too it's quick. It's fine, man. I can't believe it's May. God, no, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. We spoke about it earlier, but May the 5th is Prey, coming out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. That's a big one. I think that's going to be it's, it's going to be a success. Um, I anticipate it being a success. Bethesda don't usually bring games out that are critical failures, at okay. least to my knowledge. No, no. To- um, so look out for that one. It's going to be pretty cool. There's, there is a demo if you want to try it, but it does have input lag. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> On uh, May the 9th, uh, Loco Roco Remastered on PS4. Oh, is that already, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Similar to uh, Papa, Rapa, Papa, Rapa, Rapa, Papa, Jesus Christ, Papa, 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 the, the Rapper, Rapper Remastered. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was a PSP game originally. Um, you control the ball and you move right. It's basically the game. <laughs> Wait, is it... Are they really remaking Loco Roco? I didn't, in fact, I'm getting confused with Pat Upon it, because aren't they doing Pat Upon as well? They are doing Pat Upon as well. That's more of a game than <laughs> Loco Roco. Uh, I local... didn't realise we were doing Loco Roco, actually. I thought I was thinking Pat Upon. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, Loco Roco is just like a simple little platformer thing. I have played it. I played it on PSP. Yeah, same here. Mm. It was alright. Sure. Probably another East Platinum, but nothing else. I hope so. <laughs> we can do a round of applause for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the same day, it's a game called Strafe, coming out on PC and Mac for some reason. Um, Wait. You know we don't do PC on this show. It's true, but this can be on PS4 as well at some point. And ah, well. okay. Well, that, then that's fine. It, it's yeah. fine to mention. It looks fun. It's like retro-inspired uh, first-person shooter, like old school Doom and Wolfenstein and all that. Oh, right, um, okay. But like actual 3D. It looks, it looks cool. It looks fun. So old school animation, new school gameplay. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that sounds cool. That's cool. Check it out. Uh, May 16th, one I know you're excited for, is uh, Injustice 2. OMG. PS4 and Xbox One. I'm so excited for this. Yeah? Like... <laughs> I cannot, you, I cannot put into words how excited I am for this. Cool. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, great roster of characters as well. Um, the Joker reveal was sort of last week, and they, he looks like a mix between Jared Leto's Joker from the Suicide Squad movie. Um, hmm. I got, to be honest, I actually quite like it. I like the. Um, you can't be old school Joker forever because <laughs> I 
I don't know. I I like I like the Suicide Squad movie, and I think the Jared Leto Joker fits well in with that Batman versus Superman and the current DC movie universe they're going with. Yeah, so they- I think it's cool that they've. I mean, I'm sure there'll be a skin for old school Joker for those that oh, um, uh, have a hankering for that. But uh, I, I like the new Joker design. He's got his coat undone, and the tattoos, and the, the hair. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks like an emo Joker. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm down with that. I, I'm down for uh, the, the Joker character developing yeah. and moving forward. But th- they will have the old school skins. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> yeah. But that's going to be brilliant. I really can't wait. Yeah, that's going to be fun one. For sure. We should... Uh... We streams of that definitely. There will absolutely be streams of that. Definitely, and, uh, it's gonna. There'll be day one streams of that because that's that's one that we're absolutely excited for. Yes, excellent. On uh, May, oh, sorry, I lost it. May nineteenth, uh, Fire Emblem Echoes: Shadows of Valentia, uh, 3DS. Um, so it, that sounds like a U game. Uh, sure, I did. I do like uh, Fire Emblem sometimes. Um, this is like a like, spin-off game. I'm not entirely sure what it is exactly. Um, so yeah, it's you might like it. It's a like a strategy game. Okay. It's very, Jap- very Japanese. Um, it yeah. sounds very Japanese. <laughs> it's got the longest name in the world, so it's definitely Japanese. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, it could be cool. On May 23rd, on a Why Does This Exist <clears throat> um, edition, it's Darksiders Warmastered Remastered Edition on the Wii U. I don't know. Who is buying that? No one. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy that. It's already out on PS4 and Xbox One. Why does the port to the Switch? It's dead. I don't know. Is that... Um, the first one remastered. Uh, yes. Is that one and two bundled? Because you can get one and two bundled. Uh, no, it's just the first one. Um, so Darksiders War Master Edition remastered. Yeah, is that right? Um, War yeah, just, just War Master Edition. Yeah. Um, I think they the second one's out already. Got in a bit backwards. They did the second one first. And you can't get the one. second one on Wii. Yeah. yeah. So. Hmm. Is it just for the sake of it? Because I guess that's just because it's there. I guess yeah. Why not? Second one's on there. Um, if on you there. listen to this podcast and you buy that game, please get in contact with us. We want to talk to you. <laughs> yes. What strange person are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, on, also on 23rd, uh, this Gaia 5 Complete on the Nintendo Switch. It's another strategy game. Um, well, I haven't actually played it. I want to might try that. Yeah. I played three, I think. Yeah, I played three, which I like a lot. Okay. So, I might check that out. That's the game for my uh, Switch. Should be nice. Um, yeah, it's got all like um, downloadable content and stuff, which is obviously on PS4, I think. So, okay. Cool. Was it an RPG, is it? Uh, yeah, like a strategy RPG, like a real-time strategy kind of thing. Okay. I think, yeah. And on May Not 20... for me, then. Yeah, not for Sony. Not as any game. Yeah, <laughs> I can't see him playing it. Um, May 26th. Th- May? May 26th. Oh, we're in May, aren't we? Sorry. We are, yeah. Mental, May 26th. Sorry, ignore me. <laughs> uh, Friday the 13th, the game on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. I like that they have to specify that. <laughs> yeah, not the movie, the game. Yeah, the game. <laughs> Just so you know, the game. Um, I actually think this looks quite cool. It is really cool, actually, yeah. Um, it's like online, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're either Freddy or one of the uh, sexed mad teenagers. Mm. Um, could be a fun one to stream as well. That was an interesting noise you just made there. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> it could be a fun one to stream, actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, it might be worth looking at. It depends on what the price is. Yeah, true. Um, um, but it'd be quite cool to be uh, Jason and chase around these... Uh, Sex crazed teenagers because that's what I'm going to keep calling them. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that'd be quite interesting. Or I'm assuming there's like a time limit on this. So you're either you're Fre- you, I could say Freddy. Um, you could be Jason and you have a time limit to get the sex crazed teenagers. <laughs> or you can be one of the aforementioned sex crazed teenagers. Yeah. And the goal is to escape if you're a teenager and to kill if you're. No, no. Escape if you're a what? If you're like the teenager. Yeah. The. Sex crazy teenager. Oh, sorry. right. No, uh, I know yeah. what you mean. I didn't know yeah, what you mean. Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, I, I was, wasn't specific enough. Yeah, you weren't. There you now go. I understand. <laughs> but it's fine, don't worry. <laughs> uh, one times. There's a, there's a game similar to it. I can't try to remember what it's called uh, on PC, where you're basically like a monster or an escapee. You mean like Evolve? No, no. There's another one. Um, shoot, I'll look it up in a minute. Um, all on the same day. Guilty Gear x Third Rev 2 on PS3 and PS4. It's Guilty Gear. You know what it is. It's a fighting game. Uh, May 30th, it's a Star Trek Bridge Crew on Vive, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR. Oh, that's finally coming out. Finally coming out. That was like advertised <laughs> and it was like showcased when PSVR was announced. I remember they had some of the um, the old cast from... Oh, know, yeah, yeah. The guy who played Geordie LaForge. <laughs> I remember his name, Labar something. Bar- Gaming Mule will hate me for this. Labar... Vernon? Burton? Tonight? Burton? Burton. Burton. Burton, yeah. Burton, yeah. 
Um, I think he was in Star Trek: The Force Awakens. Oh uh, yeah, Force Awakens. That, that other one. So, but yeah, if you, want to, if you want to pilot the Millennium Falcon with uh, Darth Vader and um, Kirk Spock, you can. So there you go, <laughs> Captain Captain Kirk Spock. Yeah. Um, in yeah. VR. I remember um, my favorite Star Trek movie. Is okay. <laughs> um, Return of the Klingons. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, I remember yeah. That one. yeah. Uh, in that one, um, I think Yoda dies. Oh no! Spoilers. God. Oh, sorry. I haven't seen it yet. I'm trying to catch up. God. It's my favourite. Uh, have you seen Star Trek, Star Trek Rogue Two? <laughs> I haven't actually. Oh, All right, it's, it's good. quite good. You should have oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah. Um, William Shatner's Captain Kirk makes a uh, <laughs> makes a yet? makes a reappearance. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, Can't and wait. He, uh, he and Han Solo team up. And, oh, awesome. Uh, they go after Rogue Two. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Um, Star Trek Wars. Star Trek Wars. Cool. Uh, so, sorry, yeah, nerds. Uh, sorry, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for me. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff there. Um, I think Prey is probably the biggest game of the month. That one in the Justice, maybe. Yeah, um, there's a couple of big ones in June, I think. Yeah, possibly. Um, but we won't. We'll talk about them in June. It's yeah. not June yet. God. But yeah, yeah um, Prey and Injustice. I would say definitely the biggest two games. Um, man, I can't wait for Injustice. Jesus, <laughs> it's so close as well. Yeah, it is. It that is. Couple weeks that away. first game came out ages ago. It did. It was a long, long time ago. It was a free game on PS Plus for a while, wasn't it? Yeah. You can watch me and Gaming Mule play it on the Saturday morning show from a couple of weeks back. Yeah. And you can listen to us talk all things DC nerdery. Yay. Or geekery, whichever one Fun you times. want to use. Cool. We use Iron Man. No, I'm joking. We joking. Yeah. don't use Iron Man. I do Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. Yeah. In... Favourite DC character. <laughs> we are dicks. <laughs> Pretty much. So, gaming news. Um, I have to comment on this mug. Okay. It's very plain for you. It is very plain. It's, uh, it's just a red mug. It is. Usually, I was, you know, last week I had um, like a retro gaming. If I didn't get a coffee last week, you forgot. Oh, I did, yeah. <laughs> I got a video coffee and didn't get the original one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, the, the week before, the mug I had had like retro gaming consoles on it. Sure. I expect that. I'm sorry. I'll, 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 I'll dig out a better mug next time. <laughs> That's our Discord server. It is. We'll uh, get a message in time. In sync. We, yeah. <laughs> so, give me news. Gosh darn it. Let's talk, let's talk some news. <laughs> let's, let's, talk the, let's talk the news. Yes. So, uh, Darksiders 3... The news. The news. Darksiders 3 has been was well, leaked, and then a trailer came out for it, so it's officially been announced now. Okay. Uh, it stars Fury, who is a horse woman of the apocalypse. Horse. Horse woman. Sure. Of the apocalypse. Does that mean she's a horse? No, it's like a horseman of the apocalypse. Like four horsemen of the apocalypse. Right. The white horse, whatever. I'd prefer if she was a horse. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a better game. Half horse, <laughs> half woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a man, 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 what are they called? A minotaur. Minotaur, yeah. No, 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 no. minotaur's the, um, <laughs> the, the one that's like a bull with horns and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. What's, what's a horse it, one? What's it called? Like, a, no. I can't remember, damn it. God's sake. Anyway, it looks cool. You use your whip and it looks awesome. It's an open world game because everything's open world these days. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it looks fun. I like the first two, so check them out. Uh, to be honest, this, cheap at the minute, so this like, surprised me. Yeah, me too. Um, because like, TSQ went away. Um, sadly, but got rebought by Nordic, and then Nordic remastered the first two. I guess so popular enough to make a third one. So, good. Yeah, I have to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I was very surprised when I saw this yesterday. I was like, I didn't even realise they were working on this. Yeah, same. And all of a sudden, there's a trailer. Um, THQ Nordic. Fair enough. I mean, if those remastered editions of Darksiders have done you well, um, people seem excited. Uh, yeah, there was a, a little bit of a buzz around the internet yesterday. I think Darksiders Three was trending on Twitter for a little while. Mm. Fine, I guess I probably won't play it. I probably will. <laughs> All right, there you go. Coming's going to play it. Sonny's not. Yeah, coming 2018. Oh, right. So, a little ways off yet. <laughs> I said it's, in fact, it's only next year. I know yeah, time. Th- yeah, time Time is time is easy. Not for you, it's not. <laughs> not for me. Time is hard. Finn doesn't <laughs> do time. Yeah, I, I don't get time. Time is relative. What? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> sure. also, speaking of leaks, um, so Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 has been rated in Korea. Um, it apparently contains Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man seven through ten. So that could be interesting. So Mega Man Legacy Collection that you've got on PS four, what's that got? I Mega Man one through six, one through six, yeah. All oh, right, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and seven was a Super Nintendo game. Eight was a PS one game. And then nine and ten were like uh, NES style games, which they came out very recently on three sixty and PS three. Are they good or? Yeah, nine's really good. Ten's less good, but I still like it. It's they're fun games. Guess who won't be playing them? Uh, you? Hey. Oh, it's, it's all like Mega Man. Old school fun stuff. Sure. Yeah. 
Now, if you could just make a Mega Man X collection and a Mega Man Legends collection. How many else? Mega Man games are there? A bunch. A bunch? A whole bunch. <laughs> That's very non-committal. Do you, know, <laughs> yeah. do you not want to hazard a guess? Um, well, there's, well, there's 10 Mega Man games. There's, like, what, 8 Mega Man X games? So that's 18 right there. And there's Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. And then there's, like, a whole Game Boy Advance spin-off series. Mega Man Zero series. There's loads. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all really good as well. Most of them. They're really good. They're all really good. Most of them. <laughs> Most of them are really good. The mainline ones are really good. Um, so, yeah. That's cool. Cool. Good news. How about you? You got any uh, news there? A couple of little tidbits. Um, today, it's been rumoured that uh, Nintendo and Ubisoft... <laughs> I'm going to team up for a Mario and Rabbids RPG for the Nintendo Switch, which is going to be re-announced uh, at E3. Interesting. I had heard about this before, actually. That has been rumoured. This just, just seems like a, like a weird thing. thing to me. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of magic. I just thought, ah, oh, that sounds fake. I just ignored it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, apparently it's real. Weird. So let me read the... Uh, I mean, this is the Express that I'm reading this from, but apparently mm. they've got it from Kotaku. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so Copy basically... <laughs> If the rumours are true, then Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle is a new role-playing game being developed by Ubisoft, who, of course, own the Rabbids yes. uh, license. Which is a thing. In fact, it will be made using the company's Snowdrop engine, which was also used for The Division. Weird. What is this game? <laughs> it was a bizarre game. And Mario and the Rabbids going to like go to <laughs> New York City and try and fight off a cold or whatever? The yeah, it's like a was? Division RPG kind of game. <laughs> so it's going to have... Very strange. Very strange. It's going to have uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Peach. you know the usual people, and uh, the rabbits then dressed as those characters. Weird. What a bizarre game. I just don't <laughs> understand. Yeah. That's going to apparently be uh, announced at E3 for the Nintendo Switch. Interesting. Speaking of releases, yes, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Remastered mm-hmm. is apparently coming separately. Finally. So if you wanted Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, you had to buy the premium version of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Which is dumb. Which is dumb. But really, really um, dumb. a since-removed leak suggested that the game was getting a standalone release on June 30th on PS4, and then a month later, July 30th on Xbox One. Interesting. Uh, this, this, yes, it has been removed now, the leak has, but I am almost certain this is true. Oh, yeah. It means it means stupid not to do it, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, they'll shift because people will <laughs> shift. People that people will buy this. Oh, um, people would have bought Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for it, but um, yeah, it, I mean, it makes sense as long as it's not ridiculously priced. It has to be twenty five to thirty pounds at most. Yeah, I think so. Maybe even twenty, but it won't be twenty. No, exactly. <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, it won't be twenty. No, but. Um, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. And it okay. seems fairly legit that Xbox One would get it afterwards, considering that all the exclusive Call of Duty content does go to PlayStation 4 yeah, these days. Yeah. True. So yeah, that's pretty much it for gaming news. Oh, okay, cool. Let's talk wrestling. It's all the graps. Yes. Let's talk the graps. Cool. Before we do so, actually, um, a kudos to you for the excellent thumbnail that we got last week. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's easily your best work. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> you're going to struggle to beat it. I am. It's gonna, I'm going to be hard to follow that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's just nice wrap cover art with paper on it. But I had to like, edit out the nice wrap logo and make, yeah. It's but you also put our, our faces, faces on the, on the, corner, the yeah. army dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which cool. is just so badass. <laughs> it is. It was awesome. I put like sunglasses on on you, and I had like moustache. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's, just, it's just those little details that just yeah. make it amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, and the other thing was just getting rid of the night trap, night trap um, original logo because like coming out of her mouth, like she was shouting it. Um, but I had to find another cover art where she didn't have the logo because I think the American cover art had it above her head, so okay. I had to like overlay the two. To make it get rid of it, it's hard. You like some sort <laughs> of Photoshop genius? I, <laughs> I am. You're the brains of the operation. Not really. I am. Well, yeah, I guess. All I am is a voice. (laughs) And a pretty face these days on YouTube. Hmm. Okay, not a pretty face. Like a six. Sorry? (laughs) What? Like a six. (laughs) I'll take a six. I have to be honest. Anything below five and I'll be upset. (laughs) I'll take a six. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, let's talk wrestling. So, WWE Payback was this past Sunday. Last week, we gave our predictions. We did. This week, we get to hear... How we did on said predictions. Yes. Well, there was Go. One of them is better than the other. 
it wasn't me. Um, it wasn't you. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me. Uh, so, free show, Enzo and Cass versus uh, Gallows and Anderson in a throwaway nothing match. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Enzo that's, won. That's my favourite type of match. Yeah, it's just, just a complete nothing. It's a good stipulation. Enzo won with just a shite roll-up. Um, uh, yeah, so you said Enzo and Cass will win. I said Gallows and Anderson will win. Uh, so you're right. You get a point for that. Um, Ding! Yeah. Kind of a shame to see them both kind of wasted like that in a boot show, but... Meh. I don't like when matches end in a roll-up. I no, think it's cheap. It is a bit cheap. Especially when it's Enzo rolling them up. Who did he get the pinfall on again? Uh, Gallows, I think. Right. Even yeah. more ridiculous because Isn't Gallows there? is fucking massive. He is. He had a, man, had a match on Raw as well where Enzo versus, Gall- versus uh, Gallows. And uh, look, thankfully, Gallows won. But uh, yeah, requires some shenanigans from Anderson to do, which is dumb. Because it's huge. Super dumb. Yeah. Super, super, super dumb. Anyway, so we have <laughs> uh, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. In the match, we said, obviously, Chris Jericho's going to lose this because he's going away to Fuzzy. So obvious what's going to happen. Mm. So naturally, <clears throat> Chris Jericho won, <laughs> taking the belt and moving himself to SmackDown along with the, um, Kevin Owens and the US title. So if you listen to last <laughs> week's podcast, you will know that after I made this Kevin Owens prediction <laughs> that I said, what will probably happen is Jericho will win and then he'll lose it on SmackDown. Yeah. Guess what happened? Exactly that. that. Exactly yeah. that. <laughs> Yep, and uh, Owens beat up Joker after the match, and now he's obviously injured. Well, he goes away and does injured, injured. <laughs> while while he goes, there's faulty stuff. And they'll be back in a few months, I'd imagine. Yep. Uh, so yeah, good way to watch World TV stuff. No points for us. No points for us though, sadly. Um, and a decent match as well. I liked it. Uh, yeah, it was good. Crowd. Good I mean, I was listening to it in headphones. Okay. I said I wasn't going to stay up and watch it live, but when we got back from WCPW, <laughs> I was just awake. Yeah, fair so play. I was like, right, I just watched the pre-show. I watched Miz TV. Um, it's a shame to see Finn Balor just not have anything to do. Yeah, it's a shame. But, yeah. <clears throat> a good match on Wall Street. Really, really good. Cool. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, and then I said, I just stayed up and watched the first few matches of Payback live. Yeah, fair play. Crowd seemed into it. I had my headphones in. Yeah. Um, so it seemed maybe, seemed louder than what it was, but... Maybe. Um, to me, it seemed like they were into it. Yeah, it was a match. Uh, Chris Jericho like broke Kevin Owens' hand because he got like his finger on the rope. Yeah, so he's like, "Well, screw, well, screw your finger, I'm gonna break it." Yeah, <laughs> it's fair play. Mm-hmm. That's so that, of course what anyone would do. Of course, naturally. Yeah. <laughs> so we have um, Neville versus Austin Aries for the cruiserweight title. You got a cruiserweight. Um, there it is again. There it is again. That just... no, well, Neville in the room unless wow. Yeah, he was <laughs> guesting on the podcast as well. Cheers, Neville. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. You're welcome. I, why I, lad. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was a really good match, I thought. Um, yeah, it was a good match. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, Eric did like an awesome looking sunset flip into a powerbomb into a last chancery. It was just awesome. Um, Neville was stuck, uh, so grabbed the referee, like, pushed him behind him, and got, disqual- got himself disqualified. So, Austin Aries did win, which he did say would happen. So, it's point to both of us. Yep, ding. Ding. But, um, he won by DQ, so Neville is still the champion. Yeah, um, I have to be honest, I'm not too angry at the result. Yeah. Uh, because I thought the match was really good. And if it gets Austin Aries that win, regardless of how it comes, it still gets that win. It's still got yeah. that W uh, for whatever they mean. A dub. But um, it, obviously they want to keep the belt on Neville going forward for a long, long time, which I'm sort it's of good. fine with. I do I, I do want Austin Aries to be the champion, but for now, uh, I'm... I enjoyed the match, thought it was good. Good chemistry between the two of them. And the result was fine. Yeah. I like the fact that they're keeping on him for a long time. Because like, so often these days, it's like you have a champion for like two weeks and then changes and then the title keeps changing hands. It just becomes meaningless because the title changes mean nothing. Yeah, I mean, these th- days, to be so. fair, that's the, that's the thing. Fans are fickle as well. They yeah. they want they want the title changes, but then when they do occur, they're like, oh, oh God, it's just happening too often. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, we can't have it both ways. Uh, and I'm sort of glad that they are going to keep the belt on him for a, yeah. for a long, long time. Well, I hope a long, long time. Title matches should mean something. When the title changes, it should be a big deal. Yes. Not like, oh, it happened again. Cool. Title matches should mean something anyway. Yeah. That's why they shouldn't be on the pre-show. That's exactly. why it's... Um, yeah, title matches just should mean something. They're a title at the end of the day. They're a championship. You have, you know, you, you, should, you have to earn a championship. You can't yeah. just lose a championship the week after. What kind of champion are you? Yeah. Crap. Jericho. God. Yeah, God. <laughs> No, yeah. I mean, I think Jericho won it just to swerve everyone. Pretty much. Maybe he's getting the SmackDown. Just, yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. 
Because obviously well, everyone just predicted that Kevin Owens would win. So <laughs> yeah. just, just to swerve the fans, Jericho won instead. That's literally the reason they did it. Pretty much. Yeah. And also give him an out for uh, going to do fuzzy stuff. Fuzzy stuff, yes. Good love with fuzzy stuff. Yeah, fuzzy stuff. <laughs> Uh, so we had uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus the Hardys, the semi-broken Hardys at this yep. point. <laughs> the leads, we won. The leads. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good match. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, Jeff got his tooth kicked out by Sheamus. Ouch. At times. Really yeah. early doors as well. <laughs> yeah. You can tell he messed up because as soon as he kicked in the face, he like, went down to his knees. Like, oh, shit, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. But like, it was, it was a, it's a bad one to go as well. It's like <laughs> yeah, it's right one front. here and it's just... Jeff smiles and you can basically see into his soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, we we'll get fixed. It mm. was a, it was a, it was a good match. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought um, again, this is good chemistry between uh, these 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 four guys. I mean, the Hardys really are obviously been a tag team forever. Um, Cesarus have not been a tag team for that long, and I have to be honest, I still don't like them being a tag team. But they are putting on good matches, so yeah. I don't really have much grounds for complaint. But they really? don't set the bar. They are the bar. Yeah. I don't know what that means. But there you go. Um, so after the match, they had a little bit of the shook hands. So, oh, well, yay. We're faces. Well, everyone's happy. And yay. Until he also... Oh, my God. Uh, so Cesaro went down, pushed off Matt Hardy off the like top of the thing. Um, and yeah, beat the rabbit them, basically. So heels. Heels Cesaro. Good. Yes. Yes. More. And heel Sheamus is always better as well. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um... Definitely. It's been a bit of a while since seen a uh, heel Cesaro, Cesaro, so that's cool. Look forward to seeing more than that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think it suits them. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought the match was good. And, I'm, again, good to see the Hardys keep hold of the tag team titles. And it's not just a, hey, TNA, fuck you. We're <laughs> going to put the titles on these guys just for them to sort of lose it a, couple, a few weeks later. I'm glad that's not the case. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say about it. I mean, the... the Matt Hardy's doing a pretty awesome job at the minute of switching between his uh, broken persona and his version one persona and <laughs> just trying to get cram everything in there. Eventually, they will become broken. I think we spoke oh, yeah. about this last week anyway, but it, it's broken. absolutely coming. Yeah, there's even more broken this week and more as well. Yeah. It's, it's, got a promo. it's pretty much just broken Hardy. Just, yeah. Without yeah. without saying deletes or all that. Just doing a hand gesture. <laughs> Love it. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then we have, oh wait, predictions. Um, so we think we both had a hard lead with this. So you both get a point for that. Ding. Ding, ding. Yay. Um, cool. Where was I? Okay. So then we had the women's match, women's title match, uh, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. Mm. And it's really, really good. Very good, yep. Um, I like it a lot. Yep, two girls just put it all out there. They're just, the women's division is very, very strong at the minute. Yes. And, and, I, think, and I think these are the best two they've got on war right now. Um, really better than Sasha. Yes. But okay, right. Maybe, Fair maybe. Enough. Well, I, say well, I think both divisions are actually quite strong and I think it was a very smart move by WWE swapping Alexa and Charlotte mm. because it just cool. freshens things up a bit. It does. Because Charlotte's beat everyone on Raw. Yeah. And Alexa's beat most of SmackDown. I do think it's a shame that they've turned Charlotte face on SmackDown because he was so good as a heel was kind of like, uh, yeah. I think I'll turn her back, I have to be honest. Maybe. I think it'll be one of those things where Charlotte's just way better as a... Uh, as a as a heel, yeah, I think they'll realize that. I'm, don't get me wrong; I'm sure she'll she will do her very best. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's got good matches and all that. Um, but it's that it's that old thing again. There's certain people just aren't yeah. likable. <laughs> now yeah. I'm sure Charlotte is lovely in real oh, yeah, life, and I, I know people that have met her and they have said that she is really really nice. But you know, this is when you've character. seen somebody be a heel for so long, yeah. Seeing them be a face just doesn't really work that well. It's like Seth like, Rollins had a problem. Like when he first turned face, it's like yeah, he's like, mm, mm, it didn't seem believable. Yeah, now it's gone, gone down a bit because it's more doing more face things and it's more believable. But uh, the example I always use is CM Punk. Oh yeah, yeah um, was just well. a heel for so long, and then towards the end of his WWE run, he was like smiling and stuff, and it's like, I'm sorry, I just I can't get on board with this. Yeah, and yeah. Like, it'll be the same with Charlotte. She's been such a a witch for so long <laughs> that it's going to be difficult to see her. You know, showing her pearly whites every week on SmackDown, <laughs> yeah, uh, and being all happy and and stuff. Um, it'll be a, just a matter of time before she's uh, a heel again. Yeah, uh, but yeah, this match is great. Um, Bailey pinned Alexa near, the, near like the corner post when yep. she kicked out. She like head slammed into the post. Which I thought it was awesome, nice spot. Um, and she like targeted head the whole match, and then ended up winning with a DDT. Which I thought was cool. Which seems um, to be her new finishing move. Yeah, I'm fine with. I mean, it's slamming someone's head into the mat. It should be a, a finishing move. And again, it's that old thing of if you do something often enough and 
that's your, then that's your move. Yeah, it is. So, uh, and a DDT has been people's finishing moves throughout the years anyway. Yeah, it's not like uh, a knee to the face like we were moaning about last week. <laughs> yeah. A DDT was Jake the Snake Roberts' finishing move. It was Arn Anderson's finishing move. It's been other people's finishing move down the years and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, fine. Yeah, um, Paul Bailey loses in the hometown. Sad face. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you had uh, elected to win that, I had Bailey. So that's another point for Sonny. It's 4 2. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just knew, I just had a feeling that they would put the belt on Alexa. I just, I they, they moved her to Raw for a reason. Yeah. Because they feel that she can cut it on the bigger show. Yeah. And they clearly just have a lot of stock in her. And that's why I thought. And they should. Yeah, wonderful. she's she's awesome. Yeah, I mean, she she's been so amazing, and I I harp on about it all the time. And I'm going to say it one more time: <laughs> she's made the transition to the main roster from NXT like nobody else. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. She's, she's, she's been really excellent and deserves all the success in the world. She declared herself the goddess of the women's division this week and more. She did, and uh, which I, I quite liked. Yeah, yeah. I it was <laughs> then of course it all broke down into chaos, and there was a six women tag, eight women tag, whatever. Who cares? A tag match broke out. Yeah, yeah. as it does. Of <laughs> Um, so then we have the highlight of the night, or low light of the night, um, Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt in a House of Horrors match. <sighs> Notice the Americans can't say horrors, right? It's a like House of Horrors. Horrors. Like uh, mirrors, like mirror. Yeah, mirror. Mirror. Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> anyway. House um, of Horrors match. House of Horrors match, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this was the thing that happened. Um, have you seen it? No. Uh, so, I was told not to. You, sh- you should. It's worth watching just for like comedy value. Uh, so Randy turned up to this mi- spooky house, very spooky house of dreams, in a limousine with jeans, no shirt, um, elbow pads, no shirt. Mm. At least he had. At least he had the good grace to wear elbow pads. <laughs> yeah. Um, Why would and, you wear no shirt? If you don't know what you're stepping into, you're wearing elbow pads. Just wear a shirt. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, it was really weird. A bit of us fought in the spooky house for 15 minutes. Um, going to one room to room to another, like they had like dolls hanging on the ceiling, like a horror show kind of thing. Super weird. Um, <laughs> Bray, so Bray White like low blow Randy Orton as he does. Um, dropped a fridge on him, like a fridge. He pushed it over, landed on Randy Orton. He was pinned underneath the fridge. So Bray White left the house and got into the limo and drove back to the arena. And um, how did that take? Uh, long enough for a match to break out in between. So we'll get into that. <laughs> the next match I had was Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe while Bray Wyatt was still driving back to the arena <laughs> and Randy Orton was trapped <laughs> underneath, the, uh, underneath the fridge. Um, so yeah, so it's Seth versus Samoa Joe. Good match. Um, as you would imagine it would be. Um, Joe targeted the injured knee, as you would. The smart heel. The smart heel. Uh, was dominant for most of the match. Uh, Seth came back towards the end and ended up uh, countering a cookie clutch into like an awkward roll-up pin thing and uh, won by an awkward roll-up yeah mm. uh, I'm not a fan of roll-ups maybe yeah. they're still rethinking his finishing move maybe but maybe. Um, I don't think this is the end of it mostly because of what happened in War the night Good, after because um, but, uh, they, the two of them can have a really great feud yeah and they're two sure. very very talented guys and if they've got nothing better to do with them then just they may as well just fight forever yeah uh, at least until they do find something better to do with them the one problem with Raw at the minute and the landscape of Raw is the missing universal title Yes, that's weird. I thought this... Uh, I mean, obviously the girls kicked off Raw this week, and they obviously kicked off Raw because <laughs> there's nothing else to kick off Raw. Yeah. Like that, that's probably the biggest title. I mean, that's the Women's World Championship. True. So, but they, are, they are hyping up the uh, IT title a bit more, which I think is good. Yeah, absolutely. It, it needs it. Um, but they shouldn't have to do that because the Universal title should be on Raw. Should be. Uh, and guys like Rollins and Joe should be going for the Universal Championship, but they're not because it's not there. Yes. In fact, uh, <laughs> Dean Ambrose got and said the same thing. So you don't need to be fighting over Brock Lesnar. You need to be fighting over me. I'm, I'm here all the time. He's never here. <laughs> I thought, yep. Dean Ambrose much. doesn't like Brock Lesnar, does he? I don't think he does, no. No. Can't blame him. No. Because um, to be fair, Dean Ambrose is there every night on every house show, like wrestling five of matches. Yeah, I think if we invited him here to wrestle, he probably would. <laughs> he probably would, yeah. A two-on-one handicap match with us. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Then we would be the IC champion because we'd win. Yeah, we would. The joint IC champion. Yep. <laughs> um, cool, so yeah, it's a good match. Uh, we've seen more from them. Uh, to the end, we have... Wait, wait, re- oh. predictions. Oh, predictions, of course. Um, so we both said um, Samoa Joe win, I think. Um, yeah, so neither of us get a point. Uh, sad face. Did I really... I think I changed my mind from Seth as well. 
I think you might have done. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, to both that Joe, so you must have changed your mind at the last minute. Bad times. Sad face. Sad face. <laughs> so now we have Randy versus Bray, part two. Spoopy Boogaloo. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, Bray stumbled out the limo into the uh, arena, stumbled into the ring, holding his lantern. Uh, um, Did his entrance music play again? Yeah, he plays mentioned music. He's the same old entrance, you know, dark blue lights in the audience. Um, got into the ring, uh, and then as the lights came back on, Randy Orton was standing behind him because fuck you, I'm Randy Orton, I can do what I want. He, I'm, he I'm clearly took now. a motorbike to the arena. <laughs> yeah, I'm magic now, screw you. Uh, or that house was in the backstage. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they fought, obviously, in the ring, like, more like a wrestling match. Uh, Randy Orton had the upper hand until the Singh brothers out of nowhere attacked. Um, and then Jinder Mahal, they Randy fought them off because they're like tiny compared to Randy. <laughs> uh, they're um, really tiny guys. They're, they're they like, are, yeah. They're like, they're, like, they're like Finn. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. With some muscles. <laughs> this is, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I have muscle. The Finn baseball. brothers. <laughs> yeah, the Finn brothers. <laughs> um, so he fought them off, but then Jinder Mahal from behind attacked him with the WWE title, which he stole last week. Of course. And uh, Bray ended up winning with the sister, sister Abigail with the help of Jinder Mahal in his own match. Weird. Weird, weird match. Um, so, yeah. We both said Bray would win because it's his match. Both right. So, we get a point. What Correct match? decision to have Bray win. Yes, definitely. Um, because he needs momentum. Randy Orton's still the WWE champion. Also, a good way to forward the storyline that's going to go into the SmackDown pay-per-view for this month, Backlash. And it's good that Jinder is still looking strong. Yes, that is good. Um, I I do like this. I mean, I, I have no complaints <laughs> about Jinder Mahal going for the WWE title. I yeah, really do fine. not. Yeah, no, I don't, I'm not against it. It's cool. Um, it's a weird match. Maybe worth watching just for comedy value. <laughs> it's unintentionally funny. I'll check it out um, tonight. The reason yeah. I haven't watched it, um, obviously we are a wrestling and video game podcast. And again, like I said at the beginning, sometimes you just don't have time to watch everything. Yeah. And there is a ton of wrestling. And that's why. So um, that's I know what happens. I know the results. I just haven't seen it for myself. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Um, so then we have uh, the main event. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Um, Roman Reigns, obviously, very taped up and injured. Injured. Because he's been thrown around and all that. Um, so, Strowman was dominant for most of the match, as he would be, as, yep. you, as you would think. Uh, Reigns to get some offense in, landed the spear. Um, managed to hit a Samoan drop, which makes no sense, because we were supposed to be injured, or whatever. Sure. Um, almost one by count out. Injured. But, uh, injured. <laughs> But uh, Strowman ended up winning with two running power slams and one clean-ish. Correct decision. Good, yes. Um, because then, they have to sell yeah. Reigns being injured. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This isn't over. It's no not. way. Um, so after the match, uh, Strowman murdered him with the steel steps, um, throwing him up and landing on it with the ribs first, and then after that, he picked up the steps and slammed him with the ribs. Ouch. The eventual uh-huh. winner... Of this mm-hmm. will be Roman Reigns. Oh, of course. Yeah. Gonna make him look strong. But they're doing a very good job of uh, bigging up Braun Strowman during this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, Strowman needed to win. Who did I predict here? Uh, Strowman. Right, good. We both did. And they both right. Ding. Ding. So, the final scores are Sonny with Fix. 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 <laughs> Sonny with Fix six. is a new number. Yeah, it's a new number between six and seven. Yeah. Six, Fix, seven. Uh, no, so Sonny wins at six points. I have four. So, that's another point. Grand total is at Sunny. Sunny grand total is now Sunny with six. Finn with four. Sad face. Good times for me. Ahead by two points. Damn. We've not just decided on a forfeit for this year yet. Obviously, yeah, we'll wait until a bit later on in the year before we go for that. Yes. Me too. Start to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> but I need to catch up because I'm I'll back start, behind. I'll start preparing for some what what shit I can throw you away. This <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, also on the war talk. Um, as we made again, escorts to uh, like ambulance. We, we had another "I'm not finished with you" moment. Born ran towards uh, Reigns, but they moved out of the way last minute and like slammed to the ambulance door, and they like, wandered off. That's <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I don't like raw talk. It's not as good as talking smack. It's not. It's done. No. Um, okay, so payback was. I mean, what I saw was fine, and um, you know, people are saying that it was all in all, it was actually apart from the House of Horrors match, which people are saying... Some people it's the, people are split. People, some people are saying it was an absolute shit show. Some people are saying it was fine for what it was. Yeah. I don't care. It, it forwards 
it gives Bray Wyatt momentum and forwards the story for uh, the SmackDown yeah. Heavyweight Championship. It's fine. Uh, so for me, that's a big plus. Um, was it a low budget or a worsely done total non-stop total deletion or whatever the fuck it was called? Pretty much. There you go. It's like like they saw total deletion but missed the point of total deletion entirely. Yeah. <laughs> just tried, to, tried to just copy it. They knew total deletion was shit. Right, they knew it was. They knew it was a, a funny thing to do. Yeah. And they made it as ridiculous as they possibly could, like with the bloody, um, whatever they were called, the flying drones with Matt Hardy's face coming out of them and all that, you know, Senior Benjamin and all that crap and dilapidated boat and Willow yeah, coming out of the boat. water. They knew it was ridiculous. Um, they've tried to do this a couple of times now yeah, and have yeah, failed nice. both times. WWE don't get it. They just don't. They don't <laughs> get that it... They just don't get it. We'll just, just yeah. leave it at that. They don't get it. They don't. Oh, uh, man. They tried. Sure. So, yeah, that was payback. I enjoyed payback, payback. What would you rate it out of 10? I can't. I, I'm not allowed a rating because I didn't see it all. But, uh, okay. Uh, I'll give it a 7. 7? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Maybe a high with one for the uh, <laughs> weird uh, House of Wars match. But, uh, yeah, decent. Seth, Seth versus Samoa Joe is good. Um, Kevin Lynch versus Jericho is good. Women's match is awesome. Austin Aries versus... Yep, that was amazing. Girl. Yep. And, uh, yeah, good. A good overall. I liked it. Okay, good. Let's um, move forward. Okay. And let's talk... Um, first of all, did anything good happen on Raw that we need to care about? Yes. The main event was um, Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins versus Thermis. Thermis. For the number one contendership of the IC title. And it was excellent. Highly recommend going watching it because it's really, really good. Okay. Um, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor are amazing, obviously. Reigns together. Um, Mitz was also there. <laughs> Need to decide who's going to do the sling blade going forward, though. Because both <laughs> can't do it. it. Yeah. P- plus, um, comms are calling it the sling blade as well. So either one of them does it, or both of them do it, or no one does it. Yeah, seriously. Um, but it's a really good match. Miz held his own as well. Give, Miz. give him credit. It was great. Um, yeah. So Miz ended up winning simply because um, Samoa Joe attacked uh, Seth Rollins on the outside, and Bray Wyatt attacked Finn Balor. Uh, Finn Balor's going up for the uh, uh, Coup on the top rope, and then Bray Wyatt's stuff happened and he just appeared and not pushed him off and uh, it was good okay good so we that's three feuds uh, forwarded in one match <laughs> exactly good. yeah good so now we're going to get Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor going forward which should be great mm-hmm. which has the potential to have awesome build up and of course we're going to have the Demon King versus Bray Wyatt at whatever the Raw pay-per-view is I can't remember Backlash no that's Smackdown Payback we've just had that Backlash <laughs> <laughs> Great Balls of Fire that could be it. I think it's that one, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, we've not talked about that. <laughs> yeah. Great Balls of Fire. What a terrible name. So WWE... Goodness gracious, what a terrible name. Yeah. Uh, WWE okay. have announced a pay-per-view called Great Balls of Fire. Vince McMahon clearly thinks this is a brilliant idea and seriously yeah. hilarious. Um, Vince McMahon was probably listening to that song or he's on the radio or something. <laughs> yeah. Vince, we need a pay-per-view for July. What should we call it? Uh, uh, great Balls of Fire. Uh, uh, great Balls of Fire. <laughs> that's a great name <laughs> and then clearly he thinks it's brilliant so yeah there'll be some sort of mass stipulation with fire involved probably to do with Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor because demons <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I don't know in fact you are probably absolutely correct probably Wouldn't because because demons because demons <laughs> yep so there it is because demons we're gonna get some sort of fire related match yeah probably like a cage match set on fire or inferno match or some garbage who knows something like that Great balls of fire. Yeah. Sounds like Great balls of shit. <laughs> yeah. So good, yeah. So Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor will be excellent going forward. And um, Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe, like we said earlier on, has legs because two great competitors. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And I'm fine with the Miz versus Dean Ambrose for the RC title. We've seen it yep. before, yes, but um, I don't care. It's fine. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. I like it. Miz um, in the main event is is good with me. Yes, I like it. In fact, he's been elevated to the next level again. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it, really. Um, it's a good, good, good great match between uh, Austin Aries and TJP. Um, Austin Aries won, but then uh, TJP attacked it onto the match, going for the knee, locked in the knee bar for like a minute. Um, so that's good. One more, minute. It's like, well, a couple minutes, aren't they? But Two uh, minutes. more heel stuff from TJP, which is good. Yeah, I mean, I thought this wasn't going to last, but clearly it is. Yeah, I what guess so. Fuck do I know? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Um, yeah. Also, Heath, Heath and Rhino was, were there. Did it the thing. Um, he still has his three three man band music, which is weird. Considering like Drew McIntyre left and make reinvented himself and come back. Uh, 
in the time is <laughs> and is still using the same music. Yeah, and Jinder um, has now the number one contender for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, and uh, he still, still has his three MB music. I think we threw up this conundrum on uh, Sunday actually. Yeah, uh, we were sort of talking amongst ourselves. We were like, so yeah. Drew McIntyre has been all around the world, made a name for himself, and is now humongous, and is just a massive household name and better than ever. Yep. So he's gone and come back. Jinder went. No idea if he wrestled on the Indies or not. Can't say I was keeping track of his career. Yeah, yeah. Me neither. Just went. Just went and came back. Probably just spent all this time in the gym. <laughs> Probably. To be hard body. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's gone and come back. And he's now number one contender for the title. He's like, has been around this whole time. Won the tag team titles. Had a crap reign. As the tag team champions. Yeah. And his career has not progressed whatsoever. Not really. Might be time to cut loose. Maybe. Yeah. On the next batch of releases, I think we may see the back of Heath. Perhaps, yes. Um, so we had, had a match with uh, Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil with, was with Apollo Crews. So the Titus brand, my friend. Yeah, I don't like it. No me, no me. It's dumb. Why? Poor Apollo. <laughs> he deserves better. So is Apollo a heel now or is Titus a face or? I have no idea. Okay. Sure. Mm. No because... idea and I don't really care. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That is fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that happened. Um, was there a women's match at all? There was, I didn't write it down. Weird. On Raw, there was. It was a six women tag team match at the beginning. Oh, of course it was, yeah. Which we spoke about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a match. Team Heal um, wins. And Alexa Bliss won with the DDT again. Oh, yeah, she breaks Bailey's eyes. Yep. Yeah. Fine. That's Fine. good. Yeah, Gives good. Um, Alexa Bliss that momentum going forward, which is great. Yes. Smackdown. Yep. That happened. Yeah, Smackdown <laughs> happened. We, yeah. all, we already know that Chris Jericho dropped the United States Championship to Kevin Owens. Oh, yeah. There's a match between the Ottoman fighter versus Dolph Ziggler. Yes. Sin Cara is back. He's looking massive as well. Um, oh. It's not any crew that did it anymore, probably because it's huge. Um, and, yeah, Dolph ended up winning because, of course, he did. Um, but it was an impressive one-armed powerbomb by Sin Cara. He lifted him up on the floor. So he's, like, now, crazy strong. Of course, after Jinder, Sin Cara's next in line. Of course. This loss to, uh, to Dolph Ziggler, just a little blip in the road. Nothing, nothing really to worry about, I don't think. No. Um, and Sin Cara will absolutely be the WWE Heavyweight Champion. Yes, long as reigning forever. To be honest, I think it's probably more realistic to move him to Raw and have him beat Brock Lesnar for the Universal yeah, Championship. Yeah, I think that's more realistic fight. You can actually leave. Yeah. If that ever happened, I would forfeit <laughs> my bets forever. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, um, we had, uh, obviously, we just mentioned, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. Um, Charlie got beaten up backstage, um, had a tag team match with... Um, Whoever it was, Naomi, that was it. Um, bad guy ended up winning because shot green up, obviously. Um, what else happened? Oh, um, Aiden English versus Todd Linger, perfect 10. Um, Aiden English lost and then was seen crying backstage during <laughs> Chris Jericho's interview. Weird. So, this is going to be a thing now. Yeah, um, because he's cried once, he will, <laughs> this will happen every week. Yeah, I guarantee it. Um, Bizarre. The problem now, because Simon Gotch is gone, Simon Gotch and his shaft and helmet have gone. Yeah. Aiden English has nothing to do. He reverted back to his sort of singing gimmick from NXT. Mm -hmm. He was Uh, doing it again this week as well. Yeah, um, but now he's cried. This is going to be a recurring theme. Much like when Christian used to throw a tantrum after his matches when he lost. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a similar sort of thing. So expect Simon Gotch to be on SmackDown week in, week out, losing matches and crying backstage, which is a real shame because the guy's really talented. He is. Um, Ty Dillinger needs to keep winning and it's good that he is. <sighs> Aiden English won't be with WWE uh, for long, I don't think. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I think he's probably, along with Heath, part of the next batch of releases. That's what we're going to have to do, just predict the next <laughs> batch of releases. Yeah, yeah. Get down the roster and just, just crucify everybody. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Aiden. Not um, Sin Cara. Not he will be there no forever. Yeah. <laughs> they own that gimmick. There will be a Sin Cara. Yes. Oh, also, uh, Ty brought out a new finisher as well. It's sort of like the tiebreaker, but instead of it being like landing his neck first on his knees, like face first, so it like spins him in midair. It's cool. I like it. Sure. Probably safer as well. Probably, yeah. Good stuff. There's a lot of room for uh, fucking up if you're going to <laughs> uh, be kneeing people in the head. Yes. From a, a great height. <laughs> yeah. so, if you, so it's like a face plant now. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Like Just face first. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you sit out or? Um, no, I think he stands up. Got sort of like a, like a um, GTS kind of, but not really. It's not his oldest, but it spins him into his knee. I don't know. Oh, is he still hitting him in the knee? Yeah, still, he's still landing face first on his knee. 
like I don't know. That's it. It's sure. cool. It's hard to yeah. describe, but it's it's cool. I like it. Okay. Cool. Uh, the crowd are firmly behind Todd Dellinger as well. Oh yeah. Definitely. Big ten chance, literally everywhere. They were even at WCPW on Sunday, there was ten chance. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, indie Graps fans <laughs> who swear by the indie wrestling and nothing else <laughs> still watch WWE because then ten chance are everywhere. Yep. <laughs> Marks. Marks. <laughs> We spent our time in the queue for WCPW, <laughs> just saying the word marks as they walked past yeah. us, knowing obviously that we are we the biggest marks, the all. biggest marks there. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what I can't stand. What's that? Just idiots. Yeah, just me too. Like, <laughs> who want to make their voices heard? Yeah, think it's any crowd just shouting nonsense. Just, yeah, just yeah. shouting nonsense and insulting wrestlers. And hey, you pay your money, do what you want. But yeah. you know, just be mindful of other people. Yeah. We all want to chant. We all want to have a good time. Just don't be dicks. Don't be dicks. Don't be dicks. That's 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 the you know the phrase of this podcast. Yeah. Don't, don't be, be dicks. dicks. Yeah. Don't be dicks. DBD. DBD. Don't be dicks. That's in the name of this episode. Don't be dicks. Don't be dicks. <laughs> there you go. Uh, cool. Uh, what else happened? What happened with AJ Styles on SmackDown this week, Finn? Um, nothing. He was on though, wasn't he? Um, <laughs> was he? Yeah. Did he? Did he have like some sort of confrontation with Shane McMahon in the ring? I didn't write it down. Good. Good. Wrestling. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Shane welcomed Chris Hogan to SmackDown, saying, hey, welcome, you're the new champion. And then AJ Styles interrupted, uh, once it fights, whoever wins out of uh, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. Um, and Kevin Owens came down, said stuff. And then a fight ensued between Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. So it looks like AJ Styles is going to be the next, the more contender for the uh, US title. Good. And we're going <laughs> to get excellent matches out of it too. So yes. Backlash, we're probably going to get Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles, which is awesome, uh, because you know that those two will absolutely tear the house down. Oh yeah, they're amazing. They will do that. So Jinder Mahal versus so Randy Orton may be the main event. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. Uh, but, yes. Um, 100% Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles will be the best match. Oh, easily. Now, do you think they're going to put the Singh brothers in the tag division? Possibly. What could be awesome is having Jinder Mahal as the champion, mm-hmm. at least until Money in the Bank, because I think Rusev will win the championship at Money in the Bank. Okay. I'm okay with that. Somehow. Somehow. Because he's not coming back unless he gets a title match. Yeah, yeah. And because they've already kicked this storyline off, there's no <laughs> way he's not coming back and having a title match. True. Um, so I think that will happen. Interesting. Now, Jinder and Rusev have been friends recently. Obviously, Handsome Rusev and Hard Body Mahal. Of course. Now, would it be... Would it make some sort of sense from a storyline perspective to have Hard Body Mahal lose the title to Rusev? Maybe. Handsome Rusev? Maybe. It could be something. I'd like to see Rusev in the main event. That'd be cool. I think there's something um, in this. I don't know what I've not... You know, I've thought about it to a degree. Yeah. And that's the conclusion that I've come to. But, um, you know, Jinder Mahal wins a backlash to everybody's surprise. Yeah. Backlash. Not mine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Randy Orton's, you know, gets his rematch the next night on Sm- or the next week on SmackDown. Who cares? <laughs> but then he's entered into the... Um, Money in the Bank match, uh, the yeah. SmackDown Money in the Bank match, because I'm assuming there'll be two. Oh, yeah, there must be. Um, That'd be cool. And then Rusev gets his wish, and he's granted a World Championship match at Money in the Bank, and he fights Hard Body Mahal. Cool. Yeah, I guess it's happening. Yeah. Where I was going with this was, wouldn't <laughs> it be cool to have Jinder and the Bollywood Boys, the Singh Brothers, whatever you want to call them, as the champions? ruling Maybe. Smackdown that would make it believable yeah that'd be cool have them win the titles by shenanigans if you have to yeah have Jinder interfere or something yeah just just have them win it by cheating yeah perfect heel way of winning a tag belts or any belt yeah no problem with that although who says other champions in a minute they're heel and I can't see Tyler Reed and Fandango winning as much as I'd like them to I can really yep hmm, bad lay. I can I can really I really can see uh, Fandango and Tyler Breeze winning somehow Hmm. And then I think the Bollywood Boys could uh, defeat them. Oh, okay. I don't expect. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay I yeah. don't expect Tyler Breeze and Fandango to be champions for long. It won't be a Heath and Rhino situation here where they keep the belts for a while. Yeah. I think it'd be a unique thing that they've won it, and it's just a transition thing for the maybe the Bollywood Boys or somebody else winning it. Yeah. No, I guess don't get happening. me wrong. I mean, we we invent these wild theories all the time, and <laughs> never. <do> they they <laughs> never ever come to any sort of fruition. But. <laughs> Um, that's how I would book it. I have to be honest. That is how I would book it. I know we sort of said about tag titles switch, you know, any titles sort of switching hands. Yeah, yeah. But if it, I think for this purpose to make Jinder Mahal and the Bollywood Boys look legit, that's what needs to happen. 
Hmm, I like it. Just my opinion and just a theory that I've invented that's never going to come to fruition. But it is what it is. Cool. I like it. Good stuff. Boys and girls, this has been episode 60 of the Games and Grats podcast. Yeah. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. And youtube.com forward slash D Dreamer Gaming. Yes. Daydreamer Gaming. Daydreamer Gaming? Yes, I think you're right. It's Daydreamer Gaming on Twitter. Yes, you're right. Go follow us <laughs> everywhere on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. Yep, yep. We will see you next week. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. Take care, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.